Y'all don't have to stop for us. Keep giving God praise. Hallelujah. He's been good to you. You ought to praise the Lord. If he woke you up this morning, you ought to praise the Lord. If you have breath in your body, you ought to give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
to be praised. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Victory, victory shall be mine. One more time, clap your hands unto the Lord and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. So thankful for what we feel here tonight. The Lord is here to do the miraculous. Thank you for your underwhelming response. The Lord is here to do the miraculous. Anything can happen tonight. Anything can happen. God bless you and you may be seated. We want to, first of all, give honor to all of the table talk presenters that were part of the ladies day today and Dr. Linstead we give her special honor for God using her in a mighty way ladies did you enjoy it at the embassy suites we heard so many amazing reports and we thank God for that and uh, we appreciate that I, I want to bring all of our newly elected officials back to the platform if you would and um, our first election was our own brother David Carruthers. Brother Carruthers, would you come, our secretary? I think we can do a little better than that. What a great man of God, wonderful leader, my friend. As I call your name, come forward. District North American Missions Director, Jimmy Hughes. <laughs> District Children's Ministry Director, Britton Olette, not able to be here tonight. When you miss, you get elected to positions. You, you have to come if you want to deny one. District Children's Ministry Secretary, you may be seated, Chad McIntosh. District Youth Ministry Secretary, Chris Adias. <laughs> District Ladies Ministry Secretary, Ruth Sanchez. <laughs> District Spanish Ministry Secretary, Raul Sanchez. <laughs> District Men's Ministry Secretary, Tim Delano. Ministerial Appeals Council nominee, Rodney Shaw, not able to be here tonight. Give him a hand. <laughs> District Formation Committee member nominee, our own Brother David Carruthers. <laughs> Two appointments, Multicultural Ministries District Representative Ed Hancock. And District Prayer Ministry Director Julie Ann Reynolds. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now, while you're standing, would you stretch forth your hands? and pray a special anointing upon every one of these. Lord, I thank you today for your wonderful spirit. Thank you for these great men and women who sacrificially are willing to serve your kingdom. Give them strength, give them anointing. Use them and bless them as only you can. I thank you and I praise you for it. Let us be one, Lord, as we move unto the dimension of as you have called us, I pray that you would help us, O oh Lord, to align ourselves around a common goal and vision 
and work together to see that vision accomplished. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And would you lift up your hands one more time and give him glory and honor and praise. Let's worship the Lord. How many is ready to have church here tonight? Let's worship him. We all stand across this sanctuary. How many believe that God can do anything above anything we could ever ask? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These altars are open. Yes. Hallelujah.
lift us out of praise to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to ask you to just stay right where you are because we're going to continue worshiping together. In fact, I'm going to give you another way to worship God. That's worship and giving. And so I want to just take a moment to do that. Let me mention a, a couple of things, and uh, then we'll go right into that. And so if the ushers will come, we will just send them while we continue to worship. Uh, but I want to just say a great big thank you to the praise team, to the staff at Hope Center, for Pastor Scoggins, all who have hosted, worked so diligently. Thank you all so much. You've been a wonderful host here, and we appreciate it, and thank you very much. I do want to mention to you again, as I did last night, our 2024 district camp meeting harvest celebration, July the 18th and 19th. You are all invited to come and bring your friends with you. We want them to receive the Holy Ghost. Bring your unsaved friends. Let them receive the Holy Ghost. Let them be touched by the hand of God. So we're looking forward to that. Embassy Suite San Marcos. Uh, Thursday evening, Brother Art Hodges, the SoCal District Superintendent, will be speaking Friday during the day. We'll have a Spanish service and an English service. Brother Mark Dross is preaching those again, and he's going to work overtime and preach that evening again. And so we're looking forward to a great time there. Let me remind you that there's children's services in both evenings or during both evening services and during the day on Friday. There's a pastor's kids retreat going on. So please look for all of that information. We should, we should, I hope, have the uh, link out on the website sometime next week so you can book your rooms through the link. You can, of course, go book your rooms now, but it might be a little cheaper through the link. And so we'll have that ready for you. And so we, we invite you to do that. If you can help us by pledging for our camp meeting and you haven't done so, especially pastors and ministers, uh, the ushers have a card for you to fill out to pledge that. Aren't you thankful for the blessings of the Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's give in thanksgiving to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Ushers, please go ahead. Let's continue worshiping the Lord. Come on, lift your voice. We want to give joyfully tonight. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, a strong
Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shake the hand of someone near to you and tell them I'm happy to worship with you tonight. We are so glad every one of you has joined together with us tonight. Thank you all of those that are church members, all of those that are ministers, pastors, all of our friends that are here. We welcome you and we are so delighted that you are here. It is my great honor to introduce the man of God that was appointed by God and affirmed by the ministers of the South Central Texas District as our district superintendent. He is a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And like Jesus, he does not preach a doctrine of ignoble ease with insultingly low expectations. Instead, like Jesus, he challenges us to the strenuous life of full Christ-likeness. He challenges us to dare for mighty things. He challenges us to win glorious triumphs. He challenges us to break out of the gray twilight of mediocrity. He challenges us to be loosed from the shackles of fear. He points us to the possibilities of what can be, what should be, and what must be. And he inspires and motivates us to win the world for Jesus. Would you join together with me right now and welcome our district superintendent, Brother Nathan Scoggins, to preach the Word of God tonight. Let's give that to the Lord, shall we? Oh, let's praise Him. God bless you, and you may be seated for a moment. I do want to pause just momentarily to give honor to our district secretary and his wife, brother and sister Carruthers. We love and appreciate them so very much. Many of our other board members were unable to be here tonight, but I am thankful uh, that some of them are here, and we give honor to all of them. Uh, tonight and to all of the ministers of the gospel would you please stand all of the ministers pastors uh, would you please stand so we can acknowledge you we appreciate all of you so very very much I feel something supernatural in the atmosphere When we say anything can happen, we mean anything can happen. We are in an apostolic church. And this is the greatest hour that the church has ever known. This, this is it. If you're waiting for something more, this, this is our day and we can't miss it. And I don't believe we're going to miss it. Now, I've made this statement before. The devil's in the phone booth dialing 911. You have to be 50 or 60 to even know what one of them is. But I am so thankful tonight for the spirit of revival and harvest that is in our district. I give honor to all of our leaders, all of our departmental leaders, and uh, every one of them are doing a fantastic job for the kingdom, and we are very blessed. I wonder if there's anybody that believes that today, right now, is the finest hour that the church has ever known. Right now. Right now is the greatest hour that the church has ever known. Would you stand with me very quickly here tonight? Turn to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, 
And I'm reading one verse in your hearing tonight. Verse 10. Say not thou. There's some things you, you just should not say. There's some things we should be saying, but there's absolutely some things that we should not be saying. Say not thou. What is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Say not thou. What is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Book of John 4 and verse 35. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, Lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white, all ready to harvest. My subject tonight is this. These are the good old days. Would you clap your hands and shout unto God if you believe that these are the good old days. Oh, let's praise him a little more because there is going to be a breakthrough, Sister Reynolds. Chains are going to fall off. Mental fatigue is going to be touched and strengthened by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hurts are going to be healed tonight. In fact, the Lord told me that as you have given all, he will give all even to you tonight. And he will heal emotions. He will heal your broken hearts. He is going to prepare you for the future that he is going to use you. Would you clap your hands unto him if you believe it and shout unto God with a voice of triumph? Praise him. Oh, yes. God bless you and you may be seated. I refuse to be past-possessed and so future-focused that I, I lose sight of what God wants to do right now in this present moment. I thank God for the good old days. Uh, I've, I've heard people say before the good old days, back in the Brush Arbor days, where the Spirit of the Lord really moved, where the, the, the power of God fell in a mighty and a majestic way, where the, the, uh, the preachers were so anointed that there was always a demonstration of the Holy Ghost. But I've come to tell you today, we cannot look on in the rear view mirror or you're going to miss what God is going to do right now in the church. You can't live in your yesterday. You've got to live in your right now moment because right now, today, is the day of salvation. Today, we'll see a demonstration of the miraculous. Today, God is going to answer prayer. Today. God is going to give us harvest like we have never seen before. Some of you have brought your brokenness into this building tonight. But God's going to heal brokenness. But if I can preach to you tonight, you who are the possessors of a broken heart, don't allow your broken heart to keep you from a miracle of right now. Don't allow a past hurt. Don't allow a past fear. Don't allow anything in your past to keep you from a present moment of inter being entertained by the Spirit of Almighty God. The Lord can move in this house in a moment. He can touch every mind, every heart, every body, and every spirit. We 
are living in the greatest days that the church has ever known. We are living in the atmosphere of the miraculous. It's not coming, it's here. We've already seen witness and demonstration that the power of God is ready to be poured out. And God's gonna pour into you so he can pour out of you. There, there is something so powerful about understanding that this really isn't about us. It is about him. We have been brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. And God is saying, can I, can I depend upon you to move into your, your miracle moment? Uh, last, uh, last night, so powerful. God said, I, I, I threw the man of God. I, I want you to look up. But tonight, he's saying to the church, I don't want you to only look up, but I want you to look on the field, for it is white already to harvest. Your harvest is waiting on you. Miracles are waiting on you. Manifestations of God's power is about to hit your community. There is about to be a move of God upon us and upon our churches like we have never seen before. Just, just a year ago at district conference, the Lord gave me the message, let the vision speak. And the vision has spoken. God has already showed himself mighty. He has already showed himself powerful. Some of you have already seen the fulfillment of God's promise. God has already done the supernatural in your midst. I wonder for a moment if we could just retract and go back for a moment and remember what God has already done. Reach back into a fragment of a past miracle and let it become a part of your belief system that if God's done it once, he can do it again. If he's healed the sick, he'll do it again. If he can raise the dead, he'll do it again. If he can heal cancer, he'll do it again. Oh, I'm telling you, you may not like the word doubling, but I'm telling you, God has a revival and a harvest for you, man and woman of God, like we have never seen, and it's in the field. The field is waiting on every one of us. The greatest days are right now. They are not coming. They are already here. He said, those of you that look to the past and say, why isn't our present moment as good as the past was? Can I tell you that the greatest miracles and the greatest manifestations are going to happen? I'm telling you in the next six months, some of you are going to see things. If you believe, you're going to experience things. God's going to give. In the next six months, you're going to see the miraculous of God's power. Backsliders are coming home. Some of your sons and daughters are gonna be delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost. Perversion and wickedness is gonna fall at their feet because there is an anointing that's not only gonna break, it's gonna destroy the yoke. I'm talking about a yoke destroying revival that eye has not seen and ear has not heard. If you believe it, would you shout unto God with a voice of triumph? <laughs> God bless you, and you may be seated. I appreciate visionaries and people that are moving toward revival and harvest. It's so important that we do not miss this moment because God has given us a divine mandate in this last hour. Either we're going to move toward it or we're not. We, we claim to be the one God apostolic people. 
But if we don't want it, God will give it to somebody else. He'll raise up a generation that wants it. But I believe there's a hunger and there is a thirst. There is something in the atmosphere that says, I still believe. I'm looking up, but I'm about to look on. I'm about to get in the field and see what God will do. Seated right here. Our music director here at this church. I thank God for Brother Charles Johnson. He's not here tonight. He called Brother Wayne Huntley. He said, would you come and would you do a Holy Ghost rally? We're having it at Hope Center. He said, I feel in the Holy Ghost that you need to come. That there's something special about this moment. And when he came... 13 received the gift of the Holy Ghost, and that was miraculous, and we thank God for that. Some of you can only remember miracles of yesterday, but a, a little lady was seated right over here. She had a brain fog. She had a seizure every day. She couldn't see her daughter sing from the second row. She couldn't clearly get an image and, and see what, what her face looked like. No features could be seen, but when God began to move through the word and the atmosphere became supercharged, by a witness of his spirit, suddenly from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, God healed her in an instant. I'm not talking about yesterday's miracles. I'm talking about right now miracles. I called Sarah. I said, Sarah, I want to make sure since that crusade, I said, I want to make sure. How's your mom doing? She said she has not had a seizure since that very moment. The next Sunday after that Friday night touch, she was in the back. She said, I can see everybody up on the platform clear. I can see their face. Does anybody believe that this is our hour? This is our day. You're going to lay hands on the sick and they're going to recover. Carmine, come help me. Come help me, Carmine. Let me tell you what's going to happen. God's going to raise up a generation <laughs> that says we don't only believe that the miracles that we heard about, and we're not only excited about my mom and my dad's revival and former generation's revival, he prayed it. He prayed it powerful. God is putting anointing on a young generation. He is about to anoint them with a new power. Oh, yes, you claimed it. God's going to break, break and destroy bondages, and they're going to fall off of people. Let me see your hands. These hands are going to lay on this on the sick and they're gonna recover. Diseases are gonna literally be healed in the name of Jesus. Am I in the right church? Does anybody believe this is our hour? This is our day? This is the good old days. The good old days of apostolic revival. The good old days when somebody's gotta be carried out under the power and the influence of the Holy Ghost. The good old days where God is going to speak to you to go to a certain street, a certain place, a certain address, and somebody's going to say, I was waiting on you to get here. I was waiting. I asked God this morning to send me somebody who could tell me the truth. Am I in the right church? Am I in the right place? It's not coming, it's already here. It is already among us. This is the good old days. Jesus said, say not thou. There are four months. That, that means it's always down the road. It's future tense. I, I, I don't want to be past possessed. 
Neither do I want to be so future focused that I miss my right now opportunity. That God can't right now do something through me. If you need a healing in your mind, raise your hands right now. By the authority of his word, be healed in the name of Jesus. By the authority of his name, be healed. If you need to be touched emotionally, if you have been wounded in your spirit, raise your hands right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. Flow with me in the Holy Ghost for a moment. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. Is there any pastors that will believe? Yes, I believe. I believe that you're going to move in a way that you've never moved before. I believe right now in our day, you are going to do it. You're going to do it for your glory. You're not, is there any men of God that would come forward and say, I believe it. I believe it from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I want him to know I believe it. I want him to know I feel it. I want him to know that he can count on me. I'm going to move from where I am, and I'm going to get to where he is. You're going to lay hands on the sick. You'll do it in the street. You'll do it in the hospital. You'll do it. God's going to anoint you. Come on, men of God. Let's worship him together. Is there any young men and young women that will say, yea, I believe. I believe this is our finest hour. These are the good old days. Would you praise him? Would you worship him? Would you exalt him? There's a new anointing coming. Raise your hands and receive it. There's a new anointing coming. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Hi, Yabashikatai. Yamashikande, Yamai. These are the good old days. Today is the day of salvation. Today! Go ahead, men. Go ahead, men of God. Go ahead. This is your service. This is your day. This is your finest hour. Right now, don't miss this moment. Don't let this moment pass you by. Ah, go ahead. Go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship him. While we're worshiping, somebody can be healed right now. A preacher's wife can be healed right now. Let go of your pain. Lift up your hands. God's going to heal you from your anxiety and your oppression. These are the good old days. Aha! Yama yaboho yai. Yama shikandere laboho shatai. Lay hands on one another, men of God, lay hands. God's about to move us to another realm of expectation. That's it. That's it. I want it. In the name of Jesus. 
minister one to another right now. Obey the Holy Ghost. Obey the Holy Ghost. In a moment, in a second.
crusade in Corpus Christi, 120 laborers in 30 degree weather, not doors in Corpus. They told them there is a, an awakening coming to the body of Christ. At that meeting, when Brother Chris Green gave the altar appeal, 80 plus people were healed. Somebody was scheduled for an elbow surgery, but they felt something happen to their arm while they were praying. And they went back to the doctor, got another report, and said, we'll cancel the surgery. Everything is fine. Because these are the days of miracles, signs, and wonders. And we're getting ready to follow the lead of our great presbyter in the Rio Grande Valley. We're about to go to the valley. I want to remind you that it was in McAllen after a season of prayer that the Lord said, behold my harvest, behold my rain. I want some men of God that believe that right now is our finest hour. I want you to come and join around Brother Milligan we are believing that in two nights, 200 are going to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And there's going to be miracles. There's going to be signs. There's going to be wonders. There's going to be demonstrations. you're doing. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your promise. Yes. There's a harvest in the region. It's going to happen. It is God's prophetic timetable. It's now. It's 
now. It's now. It's now. Right now. the one beside you right now and I want us I want us to release our faith a new anointing a higher calling you're good when you speak on Sunday there's gonna be a new authority come through your mouth you're gonna speak with a new authority in the name of Jesus Take the hand and lift it high. And on the count of three, I want us to let us shout. One, two, three. about hype I'm not talking about trying to to get your emotions to believe but here stands the man 
whose wife was going to have to have elbow surgery. But on that Friday night of Corpus Christi Awakening, God healed her elbow miraculously by the power of his authority. Easter Sunday, they baptized seven in the name of Jesus. Easter Sunday, because God said, if you think it's just going to end at Corpus Christi Awakening, I am about to set the whole region on fire. There's about to be new church plants. There's about to be new burdens, new passion, and new fire. This is, this is our day. The Old Testament said, don't, don't, don't dare say, why isn't our present as good as our yesterday? He said, that's not wise because that lack of wisdom, you're gonna miss your moment. Wayne Huntley said this years ago, and I never forgot it. He said, I don't wanna be at the bus station when my plane comes in. This is not time for low expectation. This is time God's gonna heal emotions. God, God's gonna heal wounded spirits. And then take your eyes. Now that you're looking up, counting the stars, he said, now don't just look up, look on the fields for they are white. Last night was about looking up. Now it's about looking on. And God said, you're gonna see signs, you're gonna see wonders, you're gonna see the miraculous, and it's gonna happen for every one of us. Would you take the hand of the one beside you, Lord? Hayama shikata yama. Yebo shikande ayama kato yama. Yes, yes, go ahead, speak in tongues, let it flow. Yama Sikanda the Lobo Hosatai Yama Kayanda Lobo Hosi Yamai Yes, 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 yes. Tell them these are the good old days. Never been a day like today. Never been an hour like this hour. Never, never been a moment quite like this moment. These are the good old days. I just need to know, are you him? or shall we look for another? He said, tell John. Just go tell John. These are the good old days. The blind see. Deaf hear, the lame are walking. The poor have the gospel preached to them. These are the good old days. These are. Can y'all play something fast? 
I mean fast. I, I, I feel a shouting spirit up in here. I feel a dancing spirit. I feel a running spirit. I feel a rejoicing spirit. Would you just take your neighbor by the hand and say, let's dance a little bit. Let's rejoice a little bit. We've been in the fire. But these are the good old days. Oh, I, yes. I got to praise. I got to praise. Yes, go ahead. I got to let it out. I got to praise. to be a unity. 
Unity in prayer. Unity in purpose. Unified around a common purpose. Unity in proclamation. Unity in demonstration. There's about to be a unity and an outpouring. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm glad I came to district conference. I'm glad I came to district conference. Brother Carruthers, Brother Carruthers. Thank you, Brother Scoggins. Thank you all. I think we can say one thing. Amen. Amen. And so be it in the name of Jesus. You're dismissed. Thank you for being here. <laughs>